Hi everyone, welcome. I'm really glad to have you here. I know I've not done a video in a bit, and a lot of that is because I had a lot of changes in my job, but I wanted to get back to soap making, and October is my favorite time of the year. And, well, I wanted to start it out with a bit of fun. And what's more fun than a skeleton? <laughs> um, some of my favorite films have been with skeletons. If you ever get an opportunity to see the movie The Lost Skeleton of Cadavra, Make sure that you see it. It's a lot of fun. And of course, The Nightmare Before Christmas with Jack Skellington is one of my favorites. I will watch that one probably a dozen times a year. Yeah, I know. I think in some ways I'm just a big kid at heart. This is a very nice soap for a lot of different reasons. First of all, it's full of charred bones, but you can call it activated charcoal if you like. <laughs> and many of the ingredients in the video you will see have alternate names and that's all in good fun. And I hope you can appreciate that I'm just a bit silly. I'm overdubbing this because I had to make this soap in my off hours, in between a couple, I actually made it over a couple of days. And in order to do that, I just decided to leave the audio out because I would be having to edit it in weird places, that sort of thing. So I just thought, well, I'll just overdub this and hope that that's okay with you all. This isn't unlike many other soaps that I've made. Uh, this one is um, a nice, it's full of nice oils and butters. It has avocado oil, olive oil, coconut oil. There is shea butter, cocoa butter, mango butter. It also has a castor oil. The, uh, Lye solution is aloe vera gel and aloe vera juice, some sea salt, and that's really about it. Uh, the skulls are made out of homemade glycerin soap, so very simple ingredients. And I colored it with uh, activated charcoal for the eyes with a bit of for the red, there is some uh, turkey rhubarb, and the white was titanium dioxide. And they're fun without being too frightening, I think. The skulls are scented with fivefold lemon. It smells fantastic. And the Bars themselves are scented with rosemary essential oil. And I had fun putting these together. It's very relaxing because, well, as I stated, I did it over several days. My job has taken on, had taken on, some new responsibilities with a lot of challenges. And fortunately, uh, I'm getting to go back to doing what I had been doing previously, which is something I'm very excited about starting this coming Monday, actually. I'll be going back to doing what I was doing before. It's a lot. It's not, I'm not going to say it's less work. It isn't. But I know it so well that it's much less taxing, which allows me more time in my free time to do what I enjoy doing like soaping and making other things. I have a couple of new items that I'm going to be demonstrating and putting in the shop soon. 
I also have several soaps that I've made recently that I haven't done videos on or that I haven't put in the store yet. And those are things I need to do. I'm catching up on a lot. Um, my free time has been completely filled with shipping orders and I just didn't have the opportunity to work on videos. It's just not, <laughs> it's been very difficult. And I'm just so happy that now I'm going to have more of that time to do the things that I really love to do. Um, I love my job and I love what I do there, or I'm going to be loving it again, I should say. And I'm very happy about that. And I hope that my contentment and satisfaction comes across in the videos because I know that some of them recently, my attitude may have been a bit uh, trite or perhaps I wasn't as cheerful as I want to be. And here I am making my first Halloween soap of the season and I'm giddy and happy. Um, and that's a good thing because I quite frankly think of Halloween and all the scary things that really aren't very scary to me um, as a lot of fun. Listen, I will tell you that there's very little in the supernatural realm in which I have any affinity or knowledge of other than the things I grew up with that my mother fed into me. My mother very much believed in ghosts. And I'm not going to say that I do or I don't. I can tell you that I have had some experiences in my life that I don't have an explanation for. And I am not confident enough to say that they were uh, spirits. Uh, they could have just been coincidental sounds or other things. I mean, because quite frankly, I was out in the wind recently. And the way the wind was blowing through this one branch in a tree near my house, when it would blow, it sounded like someone going, Away, away. But, it, but I soon realized that it was, I could I actually got it closer to it and I realized it was the wind blowing through the branches. And I can see how in a different situation, uh, someone more impressionable, I imagine that tree near a window and you're sleeping in a strange house and you hear that, that might be something quite frightening, right? Because you, you would think either someone's playing a mean joke on you or that there was truly something happening. So I do believe that both those things are possible. Uh, and I believe ghosts are possible. Just because I've never seen any evidence of it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. It just means I, to my knowledge, there's no such thing. But I have heard some strange things in my life. I've talked to you all about the graves that are here on my property. I did some films on those and I've heard some strange things in that area in the past. There have been some movements and peculiar things that are somewhat unexplainable. I won't say that they are, but do I believe those bodies are coming out the ground and doing anything? No, they're, they're long dead. Some of these people have been dead. Well, the three that are there have been buried there over 150 or hundred over a hundred years, certainly. And so do I fear anything of that? No, I don't. And uh, I find this time of the year exciting. I, and I can't really tell you why. It's um, I love all the stuff surrounding it. I I mean I think the witchy stuff is fun. There is a lot about it, and I know there are people that practice witchcraft of some sort or another, and they believe in it. And I certainly would not uh, deter from that, or contradict that, or make fun of that. That's their business, and if they if it gives them joy. That's fantastic. And I love all of the mythology and the accoutrement of those sort of things, you know? I mean, I love black cats. I do. I'd love me a big black uh, pointed hat. And are you kidding? Would I ride a broom if such a thing existed that I could fly around on? Heck yeah, that would be awesome. Although I think a Roomba would be more fun. Anyway, that's it, everyone. I kind of went overboard on this. I just was excited to be back to making a video. I hope you enjoyed it. 
please have a fantastic day and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you haven't subscribed already, I hope you will. And take care and have a great day. Goodbye.